a showdown. I'm Christian Harloff. I'm Ken Napsack. Happy to be here with you on a very interesting team match, Christian. This is a very interesting team match because we have a team that has been there before and is trying to make their way back into the team standings, if you will. And then two legends, if you will, in yeah. the YouTube space, but making their debut. They are rookies here in the movie trivia showdown. We're talking about Double Toasted versus The Real Rejects. Now, Martin and Corey, part of Double Toasted, now when Mark and I started Schmoes No back in the day, mm -hmm. there were really only a couple of people that were doing movie reviews, and the kings of the hill were Spill.com. Yeah. And it is, it is a privilege to have them on the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very funny dudes, and I can't wait to see what they do. Now, whether or not they can do trivia we're gonna find that out today we do know that a man by the name of John Humphrey certainly can do some trivia as we saw in the uh, free-for-all his performance in the free-for-all was one of the most talked about in the entire event which is is, is so well received MVP. by the fans MVP you yeah, have great uh, iconic moments in that free-for-all but do not overlook the performance of this man who almost went uh, an extraordinary distance. He did finally go out, but he went out to a, r a rousing standing ovation from and, the crowd. And his partner, even though maybe he didn't have the best uh, showing in the free-for-all, yeah. has shown that he's been very strong in the team matches. Right. It, it, these guys, remember, they had the Wolves of Steel beat, and the yeah. Wolves of Steel are right around the corner from being champions. Well, I'll here. tell you, and on the free-for-all, don't overlook Greg's performance in the craft services department of the free-for-all. Right, Greg right, put down true. a couple that's sandwiches true. like a pro. All right, well, I want to hear what these guys are going to be talking about. So here we go. Here are both Double Toasted and Real Rejects. So I'm here with my young bucks. Got my Real Rejects. They're the real rejects. The realest. You guys, I love you guys so much. And, you know, we got you guys got another competition today. <laughs> y'all, y'all about to get it Waco style up in this bitch. Y'all done made me mad now. You ain't even done shit to me. And I'm pissed off. We're gonna burn down your complex oh. and, and shoot up your tilted kilt. Oh. What do you think about that? Oh, you made these Negroes mad! Oh. This is actually John's favorite, like the people he's ever followed online this for is, years. This is the only website I've consistently stuck with throughout my life since I found it. Like since Spill.com I've been following. Yeah. So, uh, you know, fuck Corey. Fuck, fuck Corey. We're, we're good guys, though, man. We don't want to say that kind of no, stuff. No, no, it's a term of endearment. Oh, it it's is. a oh, loving good. thing. Oh, good, good, good. What can we tell you about real rejects that the name doesn't already say? <laughs> I think it's a joke. I have to stress they are some bitches, yeah, though. Bitches. I saw them when they walked in. I haven't seen these guys for years, and I realized why now. A couple of punks is what they are. Yeah, I threw one guy my keys so he could park my car. Take the real off. Rejects, keep that part in there. But I think Double Toasted is a really hilarious channel. They're I both very charming people who we're going up against. I'm just super excited. I'm sure they share the same amount of enthusiasm, too. Yeah, I mean, I can't say enough nice things about those guys, and they seem really sweet. You know, oh, I would be, so I would be astonished if, if they weren't just the utmost gentlemen. You've got one chance to leave now. Yeah, you, you know what? You guys should go ahead and leave now, and that way you save yourself a whole bunch of embarrassment. At least you're going to save somebody a whole bunch of embarrassment if you just go ahead and walk out now. It's funny, too, because not only y'all going to lose out there in front of the camera, but I was planning on beating y'all's ass in the parking lot after this. We, should, so, we can still do that. So I know. I know we can. So, you know, I would just go home right now. But, you know, if you would, hey, take the risk. They, I'd be happy to do it. They probably want the ass with beaten. Yeah, we, we love you guys. And I know you guys probably said the same things about us, too. Yeah. Much love. Big respect. Uh, toast. Young Buckies. Young Buckies. <laughs> love, love the mic. Love is good for everyone. Well, what a contrast there. It looks like Double Toasted does not give a shit. They are here to make sure that they're here. Some crack some. Fuck them, crack some jokes, break some heads. They're ready to go. And uh, the real rejects, big fans of these guys. Yeah. Uh, something like, like Ray says, maybe sometimes it's not great to meet your idols. No, no, you never know. It's like when The Rock faced Hulk Hogan at, at WrestleMania, what was that, 17, 18? Right. Where, you know, the crowd just suddenly said, hey, Hogan's our guy. He's our legend, young kid, Rock. These real rejects are looking up to these guys. Let's see what, ha what happens here when they get in the ring. Well, I'm ready to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmo. <laughs> Introducing first. One, two, three. Making their showdown debut. They are the YouTube icons, ladies and gentlemen. Corey, 
Yeah. What they're doing, causing havoc right away. Yes, look at that. Oh, no. fingers oh. to their friends, their family, they don't care. They're here they're to just cause no havoc. <laughs> they do not <laughs> care. <laughs> and their opponents, <laughs> representing <laughs> the Young Bucks, with a record <laughs> of one win, <laughs> two defeats, <laughs> the Mad Hatter, John Humphrey, Game ceremony oh, they're bringing out the buddies. They're bringing out the buddies. Oh, what, what do we doing? got? We got toast. They got oh. toast. They got double. Oh, the the double, toast. double toasted. Oh, no, wait a minute. What? Oh, oh no. And another. Oh. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Oh, my 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 It started out nice, but Corey just not did not take to them beating up the toast. No, that you know that's like Torello. It's uh, going on a star or something like that. Or Deion Sanders. You know the reference I'm trying to make. I know the reference. Yeah, right. that's good. Okay. Here All we right, go. but hey, look, John is cleaning up the toast like a pro. I mean, this is. It's a, it's cleanliness amazing. is next to godliness. Corey is making Greg walk all the way around. <laughs> he just it, told Corey. him, you shall not pass. <laughs> well, we do know this is going to be entertaining to yes. say the least. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, so here are the rules for round number one. The contestants will get eight questions from eight different categories, each worth one point apiece. They will then show their answer when they're called upon and say the answer at the same time to their camera. Now, you can also, you also have the JTE rule, which means you guys can ask to repeat a question three times during the entire match. Three times during the entire match. There's also a challenge rule. If there's a particular answer that you think was right that the judges called wrong, you can challenge that in the same way in other sports. If it is overturned, then you will not lose your challenge. But if it stays the same, then you will lose your challenge. All right. So, real rejects. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Double toasted. Are you guys yes! ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. Then let's get ready to schmoot <laughs> All right, here we go, round right. number one. All right, guys, this is in the category of animated, animated films. Which decade saw the release of Disney favorites The Fox and the Hound and The Little Mermaid? I have a feeling that you've seen The Little Mermaid more times than I want to believe that you have seen it. Uh, I'm going to tell you this, I've uh, not seen it at all. Is that true? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, because I like Splash too much. Oh, okay. Five, four, three, two, one, start with John Humphrey. The 1990s? That is incorrect. Damn. The, the 80s. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. The 80s. That's correct. And well, Corey? I guess I got it wrong. I put 80s and 90s, so. It, well, where, where, you put 80s and 90s? Yes. It's wrong. Well, it's, it's wrong. wrong. <laughs> okay, so we got, we got one Not even point. Right? We got <laughs> one point for, I know, I almost gave you half a point there. One point for the rejects, <laughs> one point for toasted. All right, question number two. I just needed one. <laughs> All right, question number two in the realm of comedies. Love them. Callahan Auto Parts is the family business on the ropes in this 1995 road trip comedy. Callahan Auto Parts is the family business on the ropes in this 1995 road trip comedy. The screaming. It's the screaming, screaming coming from, from the, the crowd. Audience, yeah. That sounds like Josh McCuga. Yeah. Oh. Josh McCuga, very upset. All right, yeah. and five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Martin. Uh, I'm going to say Tommy Boy. That's correct. <laughs> uh, that's a big point there. Oh, uh, Greg. Uh, the Josh McCuga story. That is incorrect. Close. Corey. Very close. Okay. Corey. That's why I have Martin here. Use cars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good answer, though. And John. I wrote Beethoven's Third Movement. Wow. So look at that. So only Martin getting that one right there. Martin Good coming two through. To one. All right. Here we go. Next category, Ken. All right, gentlemen. Category is dramas. What's the trick to pulling off Christian Bale's appearing and reappearing act in The Prestige? Oh, one more time. 
Hmm? No, you don't want to give it to him one more time? Okay, I guess I'm just nicer then. Okay. I can hear you. What's the trick to pulling off Christian Bale's appearing and reappearing act in The Prestige? You see? Is it that okay. hard to be a nice person? No, for me it is. Okay. Five, Damn it. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Greg. Uh, he has a twin. That is that's correct. correct. Yeah. Mm. Corey. Oh. Trap door. Uh, incorrect. John. I mean, that's the key part of it, I'm sure. I'm thinking of the wrong part of the movie. I wrote a fucking giant Tesla coil. <laughs> <laughs> Martin. <laughs> uh, clones. Uh, no, that's that's, not, that's, no, that's right, the no, okay. other character, Hugh Jackman's yeah, character. All right, can't give you that one. Okay, all so tied two, up in two. two, two. All right, next category in the category of horror slash thriller. Johnny. Horror slash hey. thriller. Death slowly walks towards whoever had sexual intercourse most recently in what 2014 thriller? Death slowly Corey, walks towards this. whoever had sexual intercourse most recently in what 2014 thriller? Uh, not a problem I have, Christian. Five, four, three, I think I know. two, one. Corey. God damn it, please let me get one. It follows. That's Correct. it. Uh, Yay! John. I got one, mommy. <laughs> John. It follows. Correct. Martin. It follows. Correct. Ooh, Greg. There we go. It follows. There you go. All right. Are we, there? we are tied up for <laughs> All right, category. guys. The fifth question here category <laughs> is action adventure. Which Die Hard installment features the lead villain played by William Sadler? Good old William oh, Sads. Shit. Yeah. I used to call him that in college, you know? That's... Yeah. Did you go to college, college with him? No, I'm just making that up. Oh, okay. Five, I believe four. everything literally. You should. Three. And two, damn it! One and John Humphrey. Die Hard Two. He does that naked scene. That is correct, Martin. Mm. I said four. Uh, incorrect, Greg. Die Hard Two. All right, and Martin. I'm oh, sorry, Corey. I also remember the penis. Die Hard Two. <laughs> Die Hard Two. There, there, we go. there you go. All right, so six five. Great, six, great five. minds remember the same yeah. penis. Yes, they do. All right. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> there was a great nude scene. I'll tell you that much. All right, next category of family films. What legendary actor plays Meacham, the elder patriarch convinced a dragon actually lives in the woods in 2016's Peach Dragon? I am not repeating that one. <laughs> I will. Just what legendary actor plays Meacham, the elder patriarch convinced a dragon actually lives in the woods in 2016's Peach Dragon? 2016. No one yes. saw that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Eternal debating going on yeah, over there. A lot of oh. them. Taking a guess. Oh, Five. Oh Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Martin. I got nothing. All right, Greg. Liam Neeson. Incorrect. Correct. Corey. Robert Redford. That's correct. That's correct. Corey playing Shut big in a row. And John. Uh, John Hurt. And her <laughs> so Corey, the game. only one, ties up the game there. Wow. Corey now having a strong second Good job, half. Corey. Thank you. All right, here we go. Next category. We Can should collab. Question seven. Category is fantasy Sci-fi. Uh, the Pavenzi children help save a faraway realm in what fantasy movie based on classic novels? I'm not sure I said that right, Christian, but we're just... What, what is, is it? Pavenzi. Pavenzi. You said it close enough. People are screaming at you, but you still said it well, right. Rightfully so. Emma screams at me a lot. The Pevensey children. All right, five. The Pevensey children. Four. Oh, my God. Three, uh... two, one. Pens down, please. Greg. I put Chronicles of Potter. Ooh, that was incorrect. No. Uh, okay, yes, uh, right. Corey. Box troll. Incorrect, John. The chronic what coals of Narnia? That is That's correct. correct. Damn it! Oh. You're telling jokes, you should have gotten the right answer. I, and I Martin. I had nothing. Nothing, okay, it's so only one point. Okay. So, uh, and last category in the category of comic book movies. Very close score here, seven, six. Comic book movies. Which actor played the Human Torch in the 2005 and 2007 Fantastic Four films? We all know this one. It proudly proclaim. Um, I didn't play this role, but I have lit myself on fire. Last night? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Corey. Chris Evans. That's correct. John. Chris Evans. That's correct. Martin. Chris Evans. Correct. And Greg. Chris Evans. There we go. There Still we go. all tied up here, right? <laughs> That's uh, No, I got no? nine, eight, nine, eight. Oh, the rejects. Eight. Okay, so the rejects. rejects up nine, eight here going into round number two. Round number two, it works like this. Each one of the teams is going to have a chance to spin the wheel. They're going to get six questions apiece, each worth two points apiece. They will spin the wheel. If they don't like the category they get first, they can spin again. The second time, though, they have to take what they get. 
they have to also, if they opt for multiple choice, then it is now goes from being two points to one point, and you can steal from your opponents in this round. All right, real to rejects, you guys are up by one. Would you like to go first or second? We should go first, you think? Yeah. Hey, man, if you're going yeah. home, let's do it. You want to spin it, MVP? Let's do that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. All right, there we go. John has elected <laughs> to go first. The free for all uh, MVP any. goes. Good bracing on the wheel. That's a good spin. That's a big solid thank you. spin. Big spin. And we're going to land Let's on. Let's get a little horror thriller going on right now. Yeah, they're waiting, Let's they're get waiting some for horror, horror thriller. It's and it's horror. Such a good spin. Oh, good it's spin. Still and it's going to go to Christopher Nolan. Christopher movies. Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Probably. They're going to go for yeah, it? Yeah, we should we'll take go it. go for it. Okay, they're going they're for take Christopher it. Nolan movies. All right, here we go, guys, in the category of Christopher Nolan. In The Prestige, just before Borden is hanged for Angier's murder, what does he say when asked if he has any last words? Woof. Um, what does he say? Let's do a multiple choice for that. Is it A, are you watching? B, goodbye. C, abracadabra. D, he merely smiles. Are you watching? That's incorrect. For the steal, oh. double toaster for one point. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at me for. <laughs> what, what, what was D again? Uh, D was he merely smiles. It was are you watching, goodbye, abracadabra, or he merely smiles. Uh, go with D. That's also incorrect. Right. The answer is abracadabra. Um, all right. So obvious. I'm glad we're this category. <laughs> yeah, this is working out. Go there we go. It's panning out really well. Next question. <laughs> Who played Detective Ellie Burr in Insomnia? Hillary Swank. That's correct. Good Good point. Good point. Good point. Right. Question three. Move. In Inception, the dreamers use an object to distinguish dreams from reality. This object was officially referred to as what? A totem. That is correct for Look two that. points. Nice. Question four. <laughs> the protagonist in Memento suffers from what? Uh, I don't know how specific you're looking, but we'll go with amnesia. And amnesia. you would be correct for yeah. two points. Correct. <laughs> All right. Two more questions in this category. Just don't do his first one. What is the name of the district of Gotham City where Batman aids the police in fighting the escaped Arkham Asylum convicts in Batman Begins? The Narrows. That's correct for two points. Wow, yeah. that was a big one. Did you know that? All right. <laughs> Now, your last question in the category of Christopher Nolan for a pretty stellar uh, round here. Who played Matthew McConaughey's father-in-law in Interstellar? Right? Uh, Interstellar. Bite the... Bite, bite, I can't get the words out. Hmm. I understand. Can we get multiple choice? You yeah. can. Is it A, Michael Caine? B, John Lithgow? C, James Cromwell? D, John Larroquette? Lithgow. For one point, that's correct. That's correct. All right, so right now a 10 point lead for the rejects. Very good category there. Now yeah. Double Toasted can ab absolutely catch up, but they do need to score some points here. All right, so Corey and Martin, please spin that wheel and let's get to a category. <laughs> and it's gonna land on oh, horror, oh, thriller. Oh, oh, thriller. Oh, thriller. Oh, thriller. I can't answer any of those. Ah, not feeling good about All right, it. so they're going to spin again. Right, so they're going right, to spin again. Here we go. Right. Here's the spin. With the right, there we go. Good spin right. here. All right, what are they going to land on? I wish a motherfucker Come would. Come on, horse. they're going to land on 80s. 80s. Uh, 80s movies. Ooh, All right. We can do it. Strong. I don't love the 80s. <laughs> All right, here we go. 80s movies. I like the 80s. This is a whole lot better. Here we go. All right, six better. questions in this category, guys. Uh, you can confer, and you do have multiple choice if you want. First question, in National Lampoon's vacation, the Griswold set out in their station wagon toward a fun-filled time at? Wally World. That's correct. Correct. Two points, there you go. Yep. Question two, who delivered pizza as Mookie in 1989? Spike Lee. <laughs> that's yeah, absolutely. That's correct. Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> Name the 1989 <laughs> film based on the synopsis. An accident puts the consciousness of an elderly dream researcher into the body of a bratty teenager. The problem? The kid prefers dream world limbo to real life. Ooh, wow. Dream a little dream? That's wow. right, two points. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well done on that one. Like wow. a pro. Yeah. <laughs> My man. Damn. All right. 
Question four. Other than his synthesizer, what instrument does Ferris Bueller play while waiting for Cameron to pick him up? Uh, multiple choice. A, saxophone. B, trumpet. C, flute. D, clarinet. Five, <laughs> four, three. Trumpet. Incorrect. Can Course we hear the deal? choices again, please? A, saxophone. B, trumpet. C, flute. D, clarinet. Saxophone? Incorrect. We're looking for clarinet. clarinet. So no points there. Clarinet. Rejects, no but points. Toast still that that was my third. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four points here. Question five. In what movie do Christopher Walken and Sean Penn play father and son? Ooh. Oh. I remember this. I know. Five. Multiple choice. A, Dead Man Walking. B, The Dead Zone. C, Murder One. D, At Close Range. At Close Range. That's, That's correct, correct for a point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How many more questions? Your Last final, <laughs> final question this round. Which actress played Darian, the object of Bud Fox's affection in the hit film Wall Street? Well, fuck. <laughs> um, Final answer? Uh, <laughs> five. Uh, multiple choice. A, Daryl Hannah. B, Elizabeth Perkins. C, Sean Young. D, uh, Valeria Golino. Daryl Hannah. Hannah. That's correct. Correct. So look, that was a good fight there. My double yeah. toasted. It is 18-16 now going into round number three, but they fought back from a 10-point deficit and are only down by two. Yeah, very impressive. For newcomers to this game, they definitely showing their movie knowledge. It's oh, coming stop through their pores. <laughs> they gotta be nice. And that, that, the, the, the dance, the dance might be a highlight of the show. <laughs> yeah. Um, our, as now we get into round number three, here's how it works. The competitors will have a chance to pick between categories one and 25. They'll pick three numbers. The first one's gonna be worth two points. The second one will be worth three points and the final one, five points. Now they will choose who will, who will answer the two and the three. Excuse me, the, yeah, the two and three. And the five, they'll have to confer. So we're gonna start here with the real rejects to pick between one and 25. Guys, pick three numbers, please. Four. Four. Eight. Eight. 17. 17, all right. You guys are up at double toasted. Three numbers, please. 23. 23. 12. 12. 14. 14, all right. So we're gonna start right. now with double toasted to try to get themselves tied up here. Their first one, they picked category 23. Ooh, that's good show making. Category 23. You might say it's getting a little toasty. Category of here. dramas, <laughs> Christian. Category of dramas. Okay, so we hear that it is dramas. Who would like to take the two-pointer category of dramas? Two points. Uh, I'll take it. All right, so Martin's going to take the two-pointer. I'm sorry about the joke, Corey. I feel really bad. What 1987 chick flick had a 2004 <laughs> sequel that was subtitled Havana Nights? <laughs> so you can't, you, Corey cannot help you. Mm. <laughs> Time to look Five, at the draw, <laughs> four, three. Bridget Jones' Diary. Oh, no, no, no. Looking for Dirty Dancing. Dirty, dirty, dirty. You know you want to see Bridget right. Jones' Diary, Havana Nights. Nice, so we're staying, we're staying with Double <laughs> Toast here. Diary. Number 12 for three points. This goes to Corey now in the category of crime. Ooh. Category of crime. Ooh. Corey, what was the name of the sequel to the classic Chinatown? The two J. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. So three three points, points there for yeah, Corey. Go. Now it's going to jump back to the yeah. real rejects who took category number four. Okay. Yes, sir. Just doing some uh, scorekeeping on my own here, Christian. But number four is in the category of scores and soundtracks. <laughs> Who is going to I'll try answer? It. All right. John, give it a go. Hey, you know a what? Whirl, if you will. He Take proved himself uh, valuable in the free for all. Yeah. All right. Two point question, John. Which musical features songs such as Climb Every Mountain and My Favorite Things? Oh, uh, The Sound of Music. That is correct go. for All two right. points. So now it goes back to Double Toasted. MVP. Yeah. <laughs> double Toasted now needs to hit their five-pointer or Real Rejects will win the game. Oh, please. So the five-pointer in category 14, you guys chose Pixar movies. <sighs> Ooh. Pixar movies. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah, okay. from the random. Movies. That's what you said. You Here said we go. Movies. For your final question, 
In what town does Lightning McQueen find himself when he meets Sally and Mater in Cars? Mm -hmm. Is it on me? It's you, both you, you guys. You can, can collaborate. Oh, you okay. can collaborate. Yeah. So what town does Lightning McQueen? Uh, Radiator Springs. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they are yeah, yeah. the game here. Wow. 24 oh, wow. So they are in the game. Yes. So Real Rejects, Real Rejects really only has to hit their five to win it, but they still have a chance here with their oh, three. Yeah. You That's guys sure right suck at trivia. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they undersold themselves. Not very that. good uh, at this game, damn. are you? <laughs> All right. All right, uh, we have, you guys chose number eight, it's which is a three-point question in the category of war. Corresponds with your number eight. Question is, idealistic Chris Taylor discovers the horrors of Vietnam and infighting between Sergeants Barnes and Elias in this war movie. Oh, I got two choices here. I'll go to Platoon. That is correct. correct. Yeah. But yeah. they are still the down train. one point. So they Leaving need, the station. It was nice to have the points, but they really need to hit this five-pointer in order to win the game, or Double Toasted will win their debut. <laughs> oh. it comes down to this. All right, guys. You chose number 17, which corresponds to the category 90s movies. I was there for that. You can confer your five-point question. In which northwestern U.S. state does the 1998 film Clay Pigeons take place? <laughs> yeah, they always come down to this five point. Yeah. Hey, we haven't repeated any questions yet. Yeah. Can we repeat that question? They're yeah. invoking you the. Can you repeat it three times? You they're invoking yeah. the JTE rule named after fame Ecuadorian film reviewer Josh Tan. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is In which northwestern U.S. state? Does the 1998 film Clay Pigeons take place? You don't know it. You don't know. <laughs> referring That's wrong. Five Just give it up. Go to your second guess. Four. You don't know. Let's repeat Three. the question. Which one? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again one more time. <laughs> Just. In which northwestern U.S. state does the 1998 film Clay Pigeons take place? Death is inedible. edible. <laughs> 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 you. You don't got Can I repeat the question again? You have one more. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is the last one. Uh, in which northwestern <laughs> U.S. state does the 1998 film Clay Pigeons take place? I like the way it looked like they actually talking about something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're having a whole Five. thing over here. <laughs> Washington? Cocoa Puff. And your winners, Corey and Taylor! <laughs> Montana, Montana, Montana was the answer. Montana. Montana. Of course, yeah. So look at that. Double toasted saying they weren't very good. Coming here and scored 24 points. Radiator Springs. Wow. Radiator Springs beat who the first thing cars ever did good in its entire existence on the planet. Right. They come into LA, into our studio, and sweep on in, bring some fun, some entertainment, and some knowledge. And Christian. some heartbreak to the poor real rejects. Now yeah. both double toasted and real rejects are talking with Emma Fife behind the scenes. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I am here with Team Double Toasted, Martin and Corey, fresh off their Schmodown debut, and Victorious here today. How are you guys feeling? Oh, well, we kind of figured it'd go down like this. I mean, they're, they're, they're good guys, but they're sort of like the Atlanta Falcons of trivia. They're going <laughs> to choke in the end, and they did. Well, let me, let me tell you something. Here's the thing. I got some answers wrong in the beginning, and I totally did that on purpose. Because I came in, I saw that these, I saw them for what they are, a couple of punk kids, you know, and I didn't think, I didn't think that they knew shit, so I just went ahead and went easy with it. But, and you know, to, to actually give them a compliment, they, they brought that game harder than I thought that they would. And that's the only reason we had to come as hard as we did, phrasing, at the, at the, end, <laughs> at the end of this, uh, of this session here. And I just want to commend them for a nice try. Kind of pitiful, but still a nice try. And now my man, he can go back to picking up young underage girls at the bus stop, and then my other guy, he can go back to his mom's basement, and they can do whatever they do. Okay, well, I mean, you guys did show up here today claiming that you were terrible at trivia, but after that match, I gotta say, I think you guys really were just hustling them. Fucking with you, that's what we were doing. That's what we do. We like we, we catch people off guard. 
You know, I mean, if we really were to come in like we were and not with the knowledge that we have, oh, we'd be coming in like the biggest assholes in the world. Move out the way. We got this. Not, not, not like we're doing now. No, not like we're doing now, though. No, we're very humble people, though. Mm -hmm. So we didn't say that or act that way. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you so much for having us. It's been a real honor. It and has. I, it's been a real pleasure. Yeah. And all joking aside, these guys are amazing. I've always wanted to come in and do something with them. And this is a very special day. Sincerely, no joking. Sincerely, it's a very special day for us to be here. And, you know, I hope we haven't played it too strong to where they won't have us back. So I appreciate <laughs> well, it. And we're, we're not assholes in real life. <laughs> no, no, we're not. And all joking aside, you guys had a fantastic match today. You know, again, I, I would believe you if you're telling me that you were <laughs> you were just playing it safe in round one, trying to throw them for a loop. And then you really came back there in round two. You guys were down by 10. And then you, you uh, came back. And I got to say, Martin, you were maybe the MVP of this game you with was. that Radiator Springs. I was not expecting that. But once, <laughs> once, the, once we were able to cement the animation, uh, or the, I guess with the Pixar, uh, category, I was like, yeah, it's done. No, and I have to also say, you know, he he did it. If it weren't for him, I'm the one talking all this trash, and he's the one actually <laughs> winning the game. So, so yeah, uh, thank you, thank you. I was just happy to not embarrass myself, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for helping me not embarrass myself. I appreciate that. And baby, you so sweet for the nice things you said. I appreciate oh, it. Thank you're you. You're so welcome. <laughs> Thanks for being here today, guys. Congratulations thank again you. on your win, and hopefully we'll see you guys back in the movie trivia showdown sometime very soon. We'll be right back with the real rejects. And we are back with John and Gregory, team Real Rejects. Always a crowd favorite. Unfortunately, just didn't quite pull it off today. Almost every yeah, time. Yeah, my favorite movie, Clay Pigeons, and I missed it. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, in round one, you guys had a really impressive showing. I think that, Greg, you got more questions right than anybody else, thus thoroughly redeeming yourself ha! from the free-for-all. Yes. <laughs> Take that, MVP. No, we're still lovers. Yeah. We're, we're, we're still lovers, <laughs> yeah. and but but you are the MVP from round one, so now we have two yeah. MVPs wow. on the real radio. <laughs> a few questions. Right, right, but just not quite MVP enough to... You but, know, the, but the Chronicles win. of Narnia one killed me because I wasn't sure which one it was, so I just put down two franchises because I was like, I don't know the answer. Then See, I we, found out I could have gotten it right. We both had one of those because because uh, my mind halfway through was like, you should probably write 1980s because of the fox and the hound, and I just, yeah. You see, Emmy, we here at the Young Bucks, we like to have fun. We have fun all the time. Sometimes we fart around once to two, too many times. But that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. So, ca so we, ca we, ca we come in here 110 percent. These guys gave 110 percent. They are. You may have been the MVP for free for all. But we're all MVPs up here. I like the camaraderie between you guys. Yes. Well, moving forward, do you guys have a strategy for? potentially winning one of these showdowns one of these days everyone is rooting for you um we won one well you know <laughs> well you know this I, again this is a really easy game to practice for so i'm probably just gonna you know wish that i had seen more movies when i grew up and uh go yeah. from there yeah what does brianne do from hit or miss movies when she keeps posting that she's studying i'm like what the hell just are you read studying? all of exactly. imdb kind of every day yeah. just work your way through you know a few hundred pages worth of movie facts and hope that you Saying some of it. See, Emma, we're going to come back from this, okay? Yeah, yeah, we'll lose, but it's, uh, we're going to rebound. We're going to rebound, regroup, come back together, Young Bucks. You guys are going to challenge someone else, some other team, and eventually RB3 is going to take on somebody else too. It, it's a slow process. Everyone's out there. They're, everyone's focusing on the other factions, the, the horses, the, the lions, whatever they are. It doesn't matter. The only ones that do matter are the Bucks because, let's be honest, Nobody really likes lions or horses. Everybody likes bucks. Emma. And hey, hey, man, it's is their first time here. Yeah, Schmo down. Yeah, they're, they were they're coming they were, out from Austin. You they know, were our I, guests, so you know, you yeah. know, good uh, to them. Uh, good for them. Good for them. Great guys. Good for them. Fuck, Very fuck guys. Corey. Yeah, fuck Corey. Still, That's fuck a thing. Corey. That's not a mean thing. It's That's not a real mean. thing. It's, That's not a mean it's thing. Endearing. At all. So yeah. we're gonna bounce back for this. We're gonna get back, and and then we're gonna be winners. I like it. I like it. The young bucks are all about the journey and you know you guys do have the luxury of youth so you know you 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 have the time to take that journey in, in five or six years we'll have a winning record let me, let me say let me say something too they come into our house shit talking we're not gonna take that anymore no nah. nah, not the young bucks we're coming in fast and furious watch out for our next match Family. challenge somebody you know who, who, who we're gonna have a fair time with because i feel like we weren't handed a fair time but next time around Greg, John, MVP, it's our game to win. Well, I totally changed the energy there. RB3, you, you are the official mouthpiece of this team now. <laughs> we are. I, I, I'm now confused, actually, about the attitude of the Young Bucks as a whole. But uh, 
certainly best of luck to each and every one of you in the future. Real Rejects, I'm sure we will see you back soon. You are still very, very strong competitors in this league. And uh, back to you, Ken and Christian. Thank you. I'm a group hug. Let's get a group hug. It's okay. We love each other. We love each other. Well, as you see there, look, uh, everyone's having fun, and, and obviously Corey and Martin are very excited to get that win, but it was that Radiator Springs question, man, that really got them. Real Rejects has experienced so much heartbreak yeah. in this league. They get so close every single time that five point that, that there's a reason why they're one of the most beloved teams in yeah. the league. But it was hard. It, it, it's hard up here watching them go through yeah. this. They're two good guys. Well, they're okay guys. And it's tough to see them <laughs> go through this sometimes. But they, uh, I think they have the fans on their side. I think so, too. All right. Now it's up to you guys to make sure that you comment and like on this video. You want to get more guests like Double Toasted. You want to get more guests in general. You want to just get more great matches. Then that's up to you. Keep getting those comments and those likes out there. Make sure you join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. There's over 10,000 of you in in there now go make it a lot more and obviously go listen to the schmodown rundown breakdowns of all the matches that have happened this week i'd like to thank ken knapsack and for everybody out there thank you guys for watching the movie trivia schmodown now you check out the great josh makuga the wild man for your fantasy updates What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCougar here with your fantasy update. After a team match between Double Toasted and the Real Rejects, it was a heartbreaker for all you Real, Je Real Rejects fans out there, especially those who are friends of John Humphreys, the MVP of the Free For All. If you have them in your team league, hold on. They got personality. They got spunk. They're part of this young buck corral. I don't even know what the hell that means. If you have Double Toasted, if you didn't pick them up yet, pick them up in your league. They play hard, they play fast, and they yell obscenity, something we love in this league. If you're out there asking questions, hey, Josh, what's up with the free-for-all? Why weren't you in it? What's going on with fantasy? Shut your mouth, I don't care. Here we go. That's your fantasy update. For all your other fantasy needs, you go to schmoesno.com. You talk to Frank Janish. If you don't want anything about fantasy, you shouldn't watch this segment. Thank you, as always, to my best friend and partner in crime, Cobster, and F you, Cody. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.